Here we're using synthetic division to solve some problems. In the first one we have a fourth degree polynomial and we're being asked to divide it by a factor x minus 4. When we set up our synthetic division, the first step is to write all the coefficients of the terms in order, leaving no gaps for any degree. In this case we've got terms for all the degrees so we don't have to fill in with any zeros, so we'll just write a 1 for the x to the fourth term, a 12, 50, 84, and 45. And then we'll draw our little setup here, and there's the spot for the remainder. And here we have x minus 4. Remember, when you're doing synthetic division, you actually divide by the, the root, the 0. So it'll be a positive 4 we put over here. And then the first step is to bring the 1 down, multiply, and put it in this column. So that's 4. And then we add down the column. We get 16. Multiply that by 4 and put it up here. We get 64. Let's see, that's 114. Now we're going to multiply that by 4, and we get 456, and add down the column. I think that's 540. We multiply that by 4, and we get 2,160. And then we add down that column, and we get 2205. So that's our remainder. Now, if you want to give the answer back, we've got to just translate this in, back into an algebraic uh, expression. This is our cubic term here, so this would be x cubed plus 16x squared plus 114x plus 540 plus, and then our remainder is the number 2205 over the factor x minus 4. Now, you could do the same thing with regular old polynomial division, but I think this is a slightly faster way to do it. Let's try one more. This one says use synthetic division to find f of negative 5. And this comes from something called the remainder theorem, which is pretty neat. What this means is that if you actually use synthetic division and divide by this number that we're searching for, the remainder will be the solution. So you, if you took negative 5 and plugged it into this 6th degree polynomial, you would get the same number as if you d used synthetic division and divided it by a negative 5 and took the remainder. So we're going to try that right now. We're going to write all our um, terms in order. You'll notice we're missing an x to the fifth term, so we're going to put in a 0 there. So 2, 0, negative 49, 3, negative 14, 10, and negative 13. Pretty long one here. There's our spot for our remainder, and we're going to divide by negative 5. So let's start by pulling down the 2. This would be 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, so we'd get a negative 10 here. Times negative 5 would be a positive 50. And this would be 1, and 1 times negative 5 here, and that would be a uh, negative 2. Times negative 5 would be a positive 10. That would make this a negative 4. Times negative 5 would be a positive 20, which would make this 30. And 30 times negative 5 is 100, or well, negative 150. And we add that to our 13, and we get negative 163. That's our remainder, and that is f of negative 5. And if you're, you know, want to test that out, go ahead and crunch this out. Plug negative 5 in for x here, and you should get 100, negative 163 for the answer. So that's a little bit about using synthetic division to solve some problems.